Welcome to the channel, uh, old boy in Georgia guitars and more. Do a quick video tonight, replacing the bridge on this area acoustic guitar. The customer had it, the bridge pulled up, so <clears throat> brought it to me. There was two things with it. Somebody had previously tried to re-glue it and it didn't hold. The reason being is the second part is when this guitar was built, the bridge was glued over the finish and the finish is so slick, the glue didn't adhere to the, to the finish. So what I've had to do is go in and you know, scrape the finish off under the bridge, get rid of all the old glue, clean the bottom of the bridge off real good, get rid of all the old stuff. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna glue this bridge on. And what I'm using is Type Bond 3. So we're gonna see what we can get done with this thing. Uh, <clears throat> I'm using a bridge clamp that is an actual bridge clamp. I used to use <clears throat> these C clamp type things and they're they're hard to get in. My hands or arms are pretty big and long. I have a hard time with acoustic guitars with we're trying to get in there. So this tool actually makes it a lot easier. It's a whole to me a whole lot better because you don't have to have like three different clamps run. This actually has cap screws that go in from the bottom in your two E holes. And then you put your bridge on and then set this down on it and run your wing nuts down on this. And you can tighten down each of your outside areas of your bridge. So to me that, that works a lot better. That's, and then actually it's easier to work with. It, your bridge is automatically lined up. You don't have to worry about it sliding out of place during the gluing process. You have access to get the squeeze out better. Uh, it, to me, it's just a whole better system. Now, of course, they're going to get glue in here. But like I say, these are cap screws with an Allen head on them. So once the glue dries, you just simply get in there and unscrew these back down. And, uh, you know, to me, it's just a better better way of doing things. So that's what we're going to do is get into this and see if we can't make a big old mess. But you can pick up these tools, various places, Stu Mac offers offers them, uh, AliExpress, a lot of different places, and this is going to be a, be a gum, but I'd rather have too much is not enough. But that, these tools, to me, they, they work a lot better than, than the clamps. That's just my idea. But if you get a guitar that's been the bridge has been glued on to the finish, you know, the actual clear coat finish. You're, you're going to have some some problems because eventually it's going to come come undone. Now there was some tear out on this thing when the bridge was when the bridge came up, and I'm going to try to fill as much of that with glue as possible, and then you know, let this thing set for like a week before I ever put, before I ever put it back, you know, before I ever take this off. So, just to have a real good, good deal. Let's see if I can get lined up. So you're automatically lined up with your with your bridge. And we're gonna have plenty of squeeze out. 
I'm going to go ahead and just get some of that up right now because it's going to be, there's going to be plenty of it, but nothing wrong with having plenty of glue. Okay. Now you just take your tool. One of these is slotted to give you just a little bit of leeway. You set it down on there. Take your wing nuts, look at the glue off of that. I hope I can get my wing nuts started. There we go. The only thing I should improve on, I should have flat washers under these wing nuts. But this is maple, it's really hard. And one thing, you don't want to tighten these bridges down tremendously. You want to get them down snug, but you don't want to you don't want to get it so tight that it's going to push all your glue out. You know, I have seen folks really torque those things down and squeeze all your glue out. clean this up a little bit as I go okay now what I like about this system here is you have these blocks and you just run these screws down Okay, that's all there is to it, other than just, other than just clean up. That's that's pretty much it. And see, so you can get you got good access to get to your bridge. Where with the clamps, you have a you know it's hard to get it's hard to get to the bridge once you have those clamps on, especially on this side. To try to get in there to get this stuff out. I about got my paper towel too wet. <clears throat> but this is a really nice guitar. It's had a little, it's got a little scratch across it, a little bit of cosmetic, uh, you know, damage to it, but. It's a really sweet sounding guitar and you know it's your worth it's worth fixing. Ari has got has made some really nice instruments over the years. I don't know about the new stuff they make. I I know the older stuff is really good. I've got the, the Aria Pro Night Warrior electric that is really sweet, so Let's glue off so we don't have to deal with that later. Okay, that's got it done. That's all there is to it. Like I said, I just wanted to make a quick video. Just kind of show how I've started doing these acoustic bridges when I have to do it. The main thing is to get the glue all all the old glue off and if it's a guitar that's had the bridge put on on top of this finish you want to take like a little knife I used like this little knife here and just it took me several hours to get all that cleaned up on the bridge and the uh, the guitar top itself 
but it's critical to get all that old glue off and you know put plenty of glue back on and then and then let it set don't get in no hurry to take it off don't you know so it makes the glue may say 24 hours whatever i'm gonna let this thing set for you know probably a week just to make double sure that it's gonna stay but this is a better system to me than than these clamps maybe in some situations these might work better depending on the type of bridge you're using whatever but with, with this it works out fine once the glue sets you know i can just run a drill bit down through the holes to clear the glue out take this off one thing about this the only thing coming in contact with the glue is just the two bolts that go through the body so this stays clean there's not a lot of cleanup it's you know no problem so anyway uh i hope this was a little bit of a informational video something might learn something see a way i do it and uh so if you if this was handy give me a thumbs up if you like stuff like this you know hit the subscribe button and a little bell and till the next time see you